It's like no. <laughs> it's like there's no easy way. Oh, what kind of dog is he again? Alright, move him over there to your left. And this other dog. Wow. Has he, has he bit anybody before? Go ahead and let him go. Wow, he is. And then, like, if there's nobody, I can usually get him under control. But as soon as there is other other people, did anything to distract him? Uh huh. I can't. If he gets out this door, he will be gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I made sure I closed it while I was coming in. Okay. Down. All right. And what type of collar? You have a pinch collar right, right now because the other day he climbed over the neighbor's fence. Oh. So I have to have that to pull him back. I don't usually have that on him. Down. Wow. How old is he again? Three. Wow. All right. And let's get a, let's get a leash on him. And he knows how to get out too. He knows to hit it down. All right. Let's get a leash on him. That. And he knows with this collar, he doesn't pull. He's not crazy. All right. Go he ahead and go ahead and walk him a little bit in here. Right here. Come. Sit. Go ahead and just walk him. Come. This is how he is, like here usually. Mm -hmm. Alright, bring him back this way. Ah. Right there. Just tell him to sit. Sit. And then tell him to down. 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 Oh, it's not bad. Okay, keep him there. Keep him Come. there. Keep him there. Okay. So you've done, you've done a little bit of training already. Yeah. Okay. He does this while we're eating. He will sit. Constantly, right? Almost. Okay. All right, let's fix it then. You're having issues with him. Why do you want to praise the hell out of him? Right. Let him deal with it. All right, walk some more back that way. Don't correct him for starting. Just, just walk. Be nice. You've already changed his attitude, right? Right. I've only been here for 15, 10 minutes. Just look down my watch. Come back this way. Right this way, you're going to have him sit right about there. Right there. Stop. Tell him to sit. Sit. Don't correct him. Down. Okay. No. Down. Don't praise him. That is not hard correction. Keep him there. Isn't that better? His heart rate's up. You notice his heart rate change? He, he, you know, but normally he's used to dealing with his stress destructively. And barking uh, is a way to handle with his stress destructively. Right. So you have to teach him to get under control. And the pinch collar was causing more stress. Right. Which he was doing more barking with it. Isn't that funny? And he does Some, it's not just strangers either, even it, like when we come home, he's... Well, that's excitement. But right. That's an excited way to handle stress, which huskies have a tendency of doing that. Right. It's, it's in their blood that when they're excited to bark, you'll see them do that. Right. So, in a way, you're going against instinct. But you needed something that didn't cause that much stress for him to do it. You needed to find something in between. Right. And that's what we did. And now he's much calmer. Excellent. Okay, so I can help you. So am I. I well, what you've seen the change so. already. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk some more here. Okay. And then we're going to ask your neighbor to bring her dog out. I'm going to handle your dog first in case there's an issue. And then you are, just like we did in here. Okay. Okay. I set the tone, because that's what you paid me for. I set the tone to make sure there's not a problem. And then you follow through. Okay. And I can with this dog because he's not attacking me. He's not biting me. Right. But it was really confusing. You didn't know. Right. Yeah, I was. You, you didn't know. Because I thought, like, when he would do that to us, I thought, oh, my God, he's going to bite somebody. I can never right. get rid of him. Right. You're right. And really, he was just so excited that he could out of excitement, but not out of aggression. Okay. But not out of aggression. Um, that's why I said let him loose. Let okay. him loose. So if you want anybody to get bit, it would be me. Right? Oh, sure. One, I can't sue you because I assume the risk. 
Two, I should know better. Right. So okay. don't worry. That's why it's good to call a trainer. Right. Well, you should have known better. We talked to one trainer. Our windows are a huge issue. Windows? Yes, I will fix that. We'll fix that too. Don't worry. She said you have to put something so that he can't get to them. How? What do I do? I'll show way? you what to do. I'll tell you what to do. What you do is you put window film. Okay. Window film is what you can get at Home Depot. It looks just like this. Right. The sticky and it's stuff. the sticky stuff. Right. That's all you need to do. Okay. Because some dogs are visually stimulated like your dog is. So if right. you constantly see something... It sets them up to fail, but that's just part of it. Right. That's changing your environment. Now you have to train him. Right. If you just did that and never and never worked on the training part, you wouldn't have gotten it. Right. You wouldn't have gotten it. But it does help. She's right. It does help fifty percent of it, but this is the other fifty. Right. Okay. And that sets you up to fail because they're constantly rah, 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 rah. Oh. and then when they do see something, they can't bring themselves down. Right. So they stay at that. Height alert because of them constantly being stimulated. Right. So this is what you needed more than anything else. Yes. The pinch collar is adding stress. The shock collar would have added even more stress. Oh, yeah, he doesn't right. care. No, he doesn't care because his body tightens up. Right. It doesn't matter. But this right here, he can't. And the trick to that collar, again, over the Adam's apple, behind the ears, and he needs that to train him under under distractions. You need to have him on a lead. If he's loose, he trains himself. Right. So now when we put him outside, I have him on a lead because he hops the fence. The lead is long enough that he can hop the fence all the way around, but he just but has to sit can. and wait. Okay. Like it's not going to strangle him? If you have him on that one, yes. Okay. Yes. So then I would be out there with him to so supervise him. I would be out there supervising him or get an electric fence. Yeah, we don't, we don't leave them out by themselves, but he'll climb the fence even when we're there. Oh, he's hell no. Out. Okay, then we need to train that. That's what we need to do today. Okay. And then we need to talk about how to not set up your uh, environment to set him up to fail. Okay. We'll, well, we'll, we'll talk about that. Because I, myself, go out there and look and make sure her dog's not out there. And she'll be like, oh, the neighbors are out with their dog. I'm going to bring my puppy out. We'll, and we'll, she just lets him go. Yep, we'll fix it in two ways. Okay. Okay, we'll fix it two ways. All right, so walk some more. Don't say it, just do it. Just do it, girl. Doesn't that feel better? Look at your dog. Look at your dog. Your dog's tail's neutral. Turn back towards me. Yep. You can encourage it if it's lagging. Right there. Stop and have it sit. Sit. And then D-O-W-N. Down. Wait, 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 wait for it to do it. It's not a robot. Wait for it to do it. And it's not barking, going crazy. Oh, feel better now? I do. Much. I would. I would. I was stressing. Like I said, this guy, please, 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 please. He has to work. He has to work. <laughs> I can't get rid of this dog. I just, Why can't you get rid of him? Because you love him. I just, yeah. Yeah. I to take care of you. Yeah. I, he didn't ask to be here. I brought well, him. But, he, but sometimes, though, if he's the wrong temperament, you have to. Right. But he's I, not. He handles stress destructively through bark, right. which perceived you to think that he might bite. Out of aggression. If anything, he would have been out of excitement. But either or, it doesn't matter. People are still going to freak out. Right. So, do it one more time, and then we're going to ask your neighbor to let, let, let her dog, dog out. Remember the knot. Remember the knot. Remember the knot. Yep. That helps you when I put a knot there, so you kind of I have an idea where to put your hand. All right, come back this way. Over there, you're going to be going over here facing me. Boy, you got, I'm glad this is an easy dog. I did not want to difficult. He was smart. Right there, just tell him to sit and down. Sit. Down. Slow, slow. So you can tell him again. Down. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. As long as he's attempting to do it, don't correct him for that. Okay. And it, you know what? Really, tell everybody how hard of a correction that was. Right. It was. Was it that hard? No, not at all. It was easy. And you, it's not like you don't love him. Right. He said you were having a hard time with him. So why why is a correction why does a correction work good for a dog like him? Because he's already elevated and excited. He don't want a treat. If you give him a treat, now you're rewarding him right. for being excited and elevated. The bag of yes, I see the bag of treats there. <laughs> it didn't work, has it? No. It's uh -huh. clear it didn't work. No. So boom, he needed that added stress to calm him down, to relax him, 
Treats just rewarded the behavior. Yes. So that only works with dogs that are submissive and meek, not with dogs like this. Right. This is a strong-willed dog, not like the other ones. Okay. Okay. Walk slow. Middle. Middle of the middle. Don't don't set them up to fail just yet. You just started. Okay. Turn. Look at him. Look at him. Turn the other way. The other. Look at the dog. Don't look. Don't look straight ahead. You're good. You're not, you're not, we're not, I'm not checking to see if you've been drinking or not. Go back that way. Go back that way. Good. You see his tail? That's where you want it. You want it straight down, not straight up. His ears a little bit back, but he'll, they'll, they'll, stay, they'll, they'll change. Don't worry about that. It's more of his tail. Right. You want him to be a little submissive. You go right here and you're going to make him sitting down like you have been in the house. Right there. And be nice. And D-O-W-N. No. Nothing wrong with saying it again. Good. <laughs> oh my what? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll make it atheist believe in God after training, huh? <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> You've never seen this ever in your life with this dog, have you? Like, they can't even come outside. Well, you got to have him on a leash so he learns how to control himself first. Okay. Then once he learns, then you can have him all leash. But it, it's a process. Right. It's not. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. All right. Walk some more. 